there's always been an intention to want to better understand the risk factors for patients that are injured and how we can intervene to reduce their rate of re-injury. The initial, the original studies that were done were done uh, primarily on alcohol and the relationship with alcohol use and uh, traumatic injury. And, uh, you know, out of that grew an evidence base, which um, really was convincing that if you did even a brief intervention with those patients while they were in the hospital, that that would reduce their risk of subsequent injury pretty substantially. And that's the evidence that led the ACS to implement that as a, as a standard uh, for trauma centers to screen and provide an intervention for patients that are found to be uh, positive for alcohol. People in the trauma center are open, especially if you're compassionate and deal with things like pain and finances. They'll they'll talk to you about um, their mood and their their PTSD symptoms and their risk behaviors. You see, the, the trauma center is key, and so our our models meet people by the bedside, and we don't start with mental health. We we start with a very straightforward question of everything that's happened to you since your injury. What concerns you the most? 2001, we called this a patient-centered approach to trauma care. And patients most frequently after trauma um, will tell you they're in pain or they're worried they'll never walk again or they're, you know, that's the sort of thing. Or that, you know, my kids were in the back seat of the car, I was in the front seat, they went to a level two, they're out, but I haven't talked to them, you know, social concerns or I'm going to lose my apartment and my car's impounded and oh God, you know, there are all these things that, that are compelling to trauma patients and what they'll say is concerns even before you get to the mental health stuff. Screening for the risk for post-traumatic stress is, you know, I think has gotten more attention recently um, and you know, how to do that best. Uh, what the right strategies are for intervention. All those things are being studied and under evolution, um, but we kind of wanted to see where centers were. You know, what, what are they doing now? Who's doing it? Uh, what's the, what, what rate do we have to, to move the needle? Um, so I think this study is important because it shows that, first of all, by doing the alcohol mandate and, and you know, having evidence behind that, we were able to substantially show a change in practice over time. But in addition, that, that we could do that with other things like PTSD screening or screening for other uh, mental health disorders or substances of abuse. So um, I think it shows the power, I think, of the, of the structure of the verification program that we have that allows us to take evidence, translate them into standards, and, and really change practice across the country.